All right, guys, so today I thought it might be a fun idea to take a look at another ROM hack game in physical form. And instead of the Nintendo 64, we're actually going to be taking a look at the Game Boy Color this time. And we're going to be taking a look at Pokemon Crystal Clear version, uh, which might actually came with this neat little case here. Uh, I'm pretty sure this might be seller exclusive. Like, uh, I don't think you could necessarily find this everywhere online, but at least from the seller I bought, came with this neat little case here. Um, but for those of you who maybe don't know what Pokemon Crystal Clear is, we'll go ahead and take a look at the back of the case here. Uh, I won't read this word for word, but I'll try and hold it up best I can. So if you if you want to read it, you can. Uh, but I'll try and go over a little bit here. But Pokemon Crystal Clear is essentially a ROM hack of Pokemon Crystal version uh, for the Game Boy Color. And essentially what we're working with here, you can kind of see some of the highlight features here. Uh, one, one big one, of course, is uh, being able to customize your trainer which the picture right here doesn't really do it justice. This person kind of looks a little coked out. Uh, but we'll take a look here in just a second to show you a little bit more about that. But yeah, you can customize your character. You have 28 different starter Pokemon to choose from, whereas you normally have three. Um, another big key feature here, at least that drew me in, was the restoration of Kanto Dungeons, which is really cool. So things like uh, Viridian Forest and Cerulean Cave, those things that normally aren't in Crystal version, they are. They added those back. Super fleshed out, super nice looking, very, very fun to actually go through those games, uh, or sorry, go through those things in this game. Um, another thing that they added uh, was following Pokemon, which has been around for a while, but not in Pokemon Crystal version. Again, kind of see the picture right there. Uh, they give you running shoes and fast travel options. And another big thing, I think another, probably the biggest thing maybe, is the uh, Tradeback Evolution in PC, which I believe they have one in each department store, but... It is exactly what that means. Uh, you can give the dude a Haunter and he'll give you back a Gengar. That's exactly how that works. So obviously with ROM hacks, typically speaking, you kind of just have to leave those guys in the dust unless you just want to hack it and give whoever you want. But in here, they actually have an NPC dedicated for that, which is really neat. So obviously mine came with a case here, which is very, very neat. Like I said, I, I do believe this might be exclusive to the seller that I bought it from. Very, very neat. But once I saw that this is a, a game that existed and had a physical version... And then I saw it had a case. As a diehard Pokemon Crystal fan, I knew I absolutely had to have this thing. So as soon as I saw this, I bought it. And I, just physically, for the collection purpose alone, I think it's worth it. I think it maybe cost me about 30 bucks, But uh, in my opinion, very, very worth it. Just physically speaking. From a physical, pretty look-at aspect, I, I, I thought it was worth the 30 bucks I spent. So now we'll go ahead and take a look at the inside here. Uh... If you couldn't tell, uh, and maybe this is exclusive to me, I could be wrong, but this case may look familiar to some people. I, I have seen fake DS games sold in cases like this. Uh, I, had a poke, I had a fake heart gold version. So this this looks very, very familiar. I, I almost had PTSD. I was like, oh my God. But obviously I know that these are fake games, so it's not that big of a deal. But I did think it was interesting that I've seen these cases before. Uh, but here we actually have the physical game itself. I'll try and set that right there uh, but yeah here we have pokemon crystal clear version the actual physical game here itself and this nice little see-through game boy color case here uh, but yeah right here you can kind of see that this is probably about the size of a game boy advance game i'd say uh, i i would think it would have been cool if they actually made it the full size of a game boy color but i'm not going to complain about that i just thought it would be cool and i do want to go ahead and grab my actual pokemon crystal version here just to kind of compare the two you can kind of see the difference between the case here uh physically speaking you can tell it kind of feels maybe a little cheaper but uh ultimately i mean it, i mean it looks great I, i'm glad they went with this color choice for the game here uh but yeah here it is with actual pokemon crystal please don't bite my head off for having ripped off the sticker i was very very young when i did that and i do regret it so i'm already dealing with that all right, well, now that we've taken a, a, a somewhat closer look here at the actual physical cartridge itself, I'll go ahead and slide this into my Game Boy Color here, turn it on, and take a look at it. All right, and real quick, I do want to point out Shock Slayer is actually the person behind this game. Uh, so shout out to Shock Slayer for making possibly the best Gen 2 uh, ROM hack out there. Obviously, when you buy these physical games and stuff like that, I, I don't believe he's the one that made this, so... Just trying to give a little bit of credit to the person who actually created the game. When you buy these things, they're probably not getting any profit off of that. So, at the very least, shout out to Shock Slayer for creating an amazing game. 
So when you click on new game, it's going to take you here where you actually get to pick the uh, region you start in, which we talked about that on the back of the case a little bit. I think it said something like Pallet Town or New Bark Town, but you do actually get to pick the region and the town. Uh, so if we say select Kanto here, we have all of the options of all of the Kanto cities here, and you can see the difficulty settings, or uh, I guess they're not really settings, it's more so just a meter to kind of show you, you know, how hard it's going to be if you do pick that uh, for your starting city, just to... I guess, gauge how hard it's going to be. You know, everything is leveled, or at least the gym leaders are, but there's a few things I think you have to account for, like trainers and then certain wild Pokemon possibly that might make things a little bit more difficult. I'm not entirely sure. I know when I started, I started in Pallet Town, so as a level one difficulty, and I didn't really have anything to complain about there. So once you're done selecting where you start at, it's finally going to take you to where you can create your own character, so to speak. Uh, you've got model presets, genders, all that's good stuff here. I'll just go ahead and scroll through it a little bit here. I won't waste too much time, but you know, you've got your classics. You've got a few new ones in here as well. You got your rival, red, blue. Uh, you got Team Rocket here as well. Of course, you got your skin color right here as well, and I think you've got like your yeah your outfit color here as well, which is really neat. You got tons of different options here. I think if you hit back and scroll over, yeah, you got this whole whole scroll wheel here, which is really insane. You've plenty of options to choose from you can really i mean obviously it's the same sprite but i mean just the fact that you can customize your character in this old school style game is just really neat for me all right well now that we're actually in here and kind of show off a few more things here obviously i've got my dugong following me we did talk about following pokemon but also i wanted to point out that we've got these sprites here which is pretty cool that's something that's not typically in the original crystal version if i'm not mistaken uh they're condensed into uglier looking sprites multiple share the same sprite but in here uh they actually took the time to create sprites for everybody which was really cool so you got walking pokemon you got your sprites following you around or your pokemon following you around sorry um but one more thing i wanted to mention too uh, a neat little thing about here we've got the new uh cinnabar island here this is not blaine's normal gym in the original that's not the part i wanted to show off the the real part i wanted to show off is actually rematching gym leaders uh New Cinnabar Pokemon Gym Leader Blaine, winning trainer Cicada. Would you like to re-challenge this gym? Yes. So one thing that's cool about this is obviously a big feature of this game is you can play this game in any order you want, and you can even rematch in any order you want. So obviously this is set four. Uh, I believe we go all the way up to, is it 12, 14, 16. So you can go all up to set 16. Obviously the higher the set, the stronger the person's going to be. Couldn't tell you off the top of my head what their levels are going to be looking like, but I will say they do not shy away from legendaries. Definitely be expecting legendaries in this game if you play it. That will definitely happen. Gym leaders, Elite Four, they will all have legendaries. Speaking of the Elite Four, I'm at the Indigo Plateau here right now. So one thing that is different about this game is you can play through this game and fight all the same gym leaders as is. You can do it anywhere you want. But one thing that is different about this game is they actually do introduce a new Elite Four into the game, which is pretty interesting. Uh, however, if you're a little afraid about that, you come over to this person in the Indigo Plateau and you can actually simulate a battle with the original Elite Four right here. Very, very nice. Uh, in case you maybe didn't want to fight the other Elite Four. Uh, but yeah, they do actually have a new Elite Four here. I'll just go ahead and run in real quick and we'll, we'll show you what I'm talking about here. All right, once you make your way through the Indigo Plateau here, we'll be taken into our first room with our first new Elite Four member here. I'm not actually going to fight through them, but I did just want to kind of show that this is not Will. This is not the Will that we know and love. I don't even know what this guy's name is. Yo, Cicada, nice to see you. Let's see if you've been doing your research. All right, we'll see. Yeah, here, just real quick, I just wanted to show Elite Four Robert here. So we've got Tangla, and I'm pretty sure I have fought through these guys once. They're not themed in any way they're not like uh this guy's not bug this guy's not grass you know they've kind of got a random varying team which i think is actually pretty cool i'm all for the types i love gems being certain types and things like that but uh i'm totally down for this kind of randomness uh for these rom hacks i think it's kind of cool we did actually talk earlier about them restoring Kanto dungeons, which I thought was really cool. So things like Viridian Forest and uh, Cerulean Cave, among other things. I think maybe even the power plant might be back to its old power plant. Uh, so I did just want to go ahead and take a look that we do actually have Viridian Forest, the whole thing here. 
uh, I believe in Pokemon Crystal or really any of the Gen 2 games besides the remakes. If you go through here, it's just like this really tiny maze. It's just pathetic and, and not there. And it's just, it's very disappointing. So obviously this is not a review of Pokemon Crystal Clear itself. As I stated in the beginning, this is more so just to review the product I actually bought here. The, the physical nature of this. Uh, this video was obviously designed to see, does the physical cartridge work? Does it turn on? Does it save? Can I play it? Can I beat it? Can I do all these different things? That is the purpose of this video, to see if the physical version of these you know, ROM hack games, do they work? That is a big risk you run when you buy them physically. Sometimes they don't work. For years, I'd say, many people have been buying these things and they, they crap out fast. They don't work at all. You never know. I'd say in recent years, I feel ROM hack games have probably gotten a little bit better and a little bit more trustworthy, uh, but obviously you still do run that risk of it just not working and you wasting your money. I am willing to take that risk, especially when it comes to something physical like this for the collection. Uh, all I can say when it comes to this stuff is you know, be careful. Know that it's fake. Know that it's not authentic. Know that it might not work. Do your research on the actual game itself. Make sure it's a game that you want. Uh, obviously I knew what I was getting myself into when I bought this game. I didn't not know anything about it, but so, I mean, mission accomplished in my opinion. I'm going to say, I'm going to give this like a, uh, I don't know, five out of five master balls. How does that sound? Five out of five master balls. Uh, cause yes, I can do all of those things. I I've played this game. I've beat it. I think I've had this for maybe a little over a month now. And I've, I've saved, obviously I've, I've beaten the elite four. I've, I've rematched, I've gone through the restorations uh, it all works. It all does what the physical cart should be doing. So if you guys by chance got anything out of this video, like anything at all, whether it's interesting to you, whether you learned something new, whether you figured out, hey, I, I maybe do want to buy this physically, feel free to click that like button, hit subscribe, do all that good stuff, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon.